Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Jessica Yellen. I have two final questions, Jessica, and I try to ask all of my guests these specific questions. The first one is, if you could share a time in your professional life when you struggled, maybe you even failed. And I want our viewers and listeners to know that you and I are connected in one of my bigger failures. And that was in 1993, no, excuse me, 2007, the then president of CNN, John Klein, decided I wasn't his cup of tea and he didn't renew my contract. And it totally sucked. It was humiliating. And it ended up being one of the greatest gifts that I could have gotten. But at the time, it completely sucked. And at least he had the good sense to hire you to replace me, Jessica, on <laughs> Capitol Hill. So I say that because, I mean, I think he had tremendous news judgment in picking you. He ended up helping me at the time. It really was one of the more painful experiences. And I'm just curious if you've had any periods in your career when you fell on your face. And the most important thing is, how you persevered, and whether there was a lesson that you learned in the process. So first of all, the answer is yes. The first of all, you're exceptional and news is arbitrary. So that's one of the hardest things about the television business is that it's not a merit based system and it's not necessarily a reflection of values or talent. It's completely the whim of whoever is the puppet master at the time. And for people who take work very seriously, I think that's very challenging. And I kind of write about this in my novel, Savage News, which is in a lot of ways a reflection of my internal experience through the news business, even if it's not always the exact events, which was I always felt that I was extremely well-intentioned, worked very hard, gave it 150 percent, opened my veins for the job, did what they asked. And I was constantly coming up against no. And you're not ready for that. You can't do that. That's not for you. It's constantly coming up against these no's that I found. I sort of catalyzed every no into and well, I'll show you and I'm going to make it and I'm going to do it a different way and I'll find another route and I'm just going to keep going. And you'd see oftentimes I'd be told that I'm too young for a job, but a guy would get that job, even though he's my, you know, that kind of thing. The pay and equity times a trillion thousand men beyond. And I just kept plowing forward, assuming that I'm going to find a solution. And I moved networks over and over and I would advocate for jobs. But my advice was always, this is the advice I give people and I take, which is decide what you want. Be very clear. Spend your time thinking hard about what you want. And then don't be shy about asking for it. And then do what they ask you to do, as long as it aligns with your integrity. What I mean by that is when I got to ABC News, they said, what would you like to do? And I said, I want to be White House correspondent. And they're like, that's cute, but you're going to be the overnight standby person who sleeps at the bureau on Friday and Saturday nights. And if you're lucky, you'll cover crime stories for Good Morning America. And I kept doing those things and I did it to the best of my ability. And then every time they asked, what do you want? I'd say, I want to be White House correspondent. So I did the job that wasn't the thing I wanted to earn my way to what I wanted. And sure enough, one day, the woman who was the Good Morning America White House correspondent, Kate Snow, unexpectedly got a promotion to be the weekend anchor in New York and had to leave D.C. And they had a sudden vacancy at the White House. And they called me up and they're like, Jessica, don't get excited. And I was like, <laughs> OK, classic, right? Don't get excited. The job is not yours, but we'd like you temporarily to fill in at the White House until we can find someone we like better. And that's how I got to the White House. And then I accepted their temporary thing and I just kept doing the job until they're kind of like, okay, you can have it. 
So the lesson from that is you'll get knocked off your feet. People will tell you no. As long as the experience is tolerable for you and you still want it, go for it. Let people know what you want and then do the work you're made to do. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.